When his father fell ill, this gentleman stepped up to the plate, took over his father's company and grew it into the most successful advertising agency in Texas, setting a new standard for marketing master plan communities. Join us on The Uri Man Show. You'll meet David Freed with Freed Advertising, now available on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Today, I have the pleasure of having David Freed here at the studio. David Freed is the top marketer of master plan communities in Texas, his company, Freed Agency. Thanks for joining today. I appreciate you having me here. That's yeah. a big compliment coming from you. And well, you are the best in Texas, that's what they say, in marketing master plan communities. I know you also play Division One football, so <laughs> you've, you've done a lot of great things in life. Uh, you know, we're, we're trying to make a name for ourselves still, but, you know, being the brightest and best at what you do is something we should all strive for. Yeah, so t tell me, walk our audience through the basics. What is marketing a master plan community? What goes, what goes, what's involved? Well, there's a lot of unique situations when marketing master plan communities, but I think for the most part, you know, putting yourself in the shoes of the potential home buyer, you're not really selling a home when you're selling a master plan community, you're selling a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So, you know, every master plan community has its unique benefits and its unique challenges. So trying to figure out who you're going to target and get them the best available information that could provide them, what, what are the opportunities that my life could be different if I moved to this community. So you're selling a lifestyle. Selling a lifestyle. Right, and so your company is involved in uh, what aspects of master plan and community marketing? Are you um, branding the community and then also in charge of advertising? So being a full service agency, uh, right. we're there from inception. So from before break ground, coming up with the concepts, the logos, um, discovery about what the amenities are going to be, um, right down to the marketing, advertising, the media placement. Uh, we're fully involved through the entire process from start to finish. So if somebody has a big piece of land, they're building a master plan community, they're gonna sell lots to, to home builders, and they wanna make sure that somebody is instilling confidence in buying a lot in the community, uh, somebody's instilling confidence in buying a home in the community, that's basically your is your role? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, really driving out what the key benefits to living in a community are and making sure that there's enough awareness uh, in and around the area that people know that the community that could provide a better life or a better situation is available for them. So it, it, tell me a little bit, you know, you you've de you have such great clients. I, I saw you have Johnson Development as your client and Soon you're gonna be marketing a, a new project in, in Dayton called River Ranch. Tell me, what are the kind of unique things, challenges that you faced in the past? Because, uh, and how, how did you address uh, any specific challenge? Sure, uh, you know, sometimes you get lucky and some communities just either have great amenities, uh, great school district, low crime, uh, but then there are situations where those things, those boxes aren't all checked. Right. So trying to figure out what is something that we could get out there that would resonate with someone uh, and make them want to join that community. So uh, a particular situation, um, we had a community that was being built in a, a less than desirable area, you know, and it was really tr tough to, to figure out how we're gonna market. It was always gonna be a tough sell. So while we're brainstorming and concepting, uh, one day we're driving out to the community, you know, we got to live the brand, you got to see what's out there. Uh, one of our account executives decided to drive from downtown Houston to the community. Mm -hmm. uh, in doing that, uh, she realized that it was only 15 minutes. Right. So with that notion, we started thinking about who could really benefit from being 15 minutes from downtown. Uh, as you know, downtown Houston, there's not a lot of green space. There's no actual houses and homes. It's apartments and condos. Yep. So we started thinking about who would benefit and it's lawyers, you know, uh, having one of the largest courthouses, uh, in the U S uh, these guys are going three, four times a week to the courthouse. So that became a target market. So we came up with a, uh, a micro niche, uh, advertising campaign targeting lawyers and it was gangbusters. Wow. So you sold homes there quickly or? Uh, very quickly. Oh. Uh, and it just, 
it gave us the idea of you, you have to explore every option. Mm -hmm. you, know, you have to look at everything that could benefit from your community. Uh, so whether that would be the amenities or uh, the commute, you know, really honing in on what people benefit from living in your community and getting that out to the market uh, really seems to work. And how do you, you know, a lot of people have doubts about marketing. You know, they say, oh, well, you know, we have to do this marketing, but there's no, there's no way to really gauge the success of marketing. How do you prove to the client later that, hey, what we did, it's not just pretty pictures, it's not just a great brand, but we made a difference. How do you prove that? Well, I, I think there's a lot of variables to that, but one thing you're talking about that I absolutely love about the business is what I call the flip. And the flip is when you know, we're meeting with potential clients, potential people that need advertising, and there's a lot of doubts, there's a lot of concerns, just as what you're mentioning to, is this gonna work? Am I just throwing money away? You know, how are they gonna prove our ROI? Things of that nature. And the reality is, when you trust your agency, there's a point where it's either at the very beginning, 30 days in, where there's a, a mindset flip, and I can see it with our clients, mm -hmm. where they start to see the results, uh, the trust really starts to get deeper and deeper. There's less daily minutia conversations and more about uh, what's next steps. Strategy and strategy. Next step. uh, mm -hmm. Because, you know, there's a lot of ways to prove ROI, you know, obviously in master plan communities, right. selling homes, foot traffic to the builders. Um, but you can see it in the client's eyes when they see it start to work and they start getting more excited. And that's, that's really what drives me. I love that part of the client agency relationship. When the client starts realizing, Hey, people are showing up to look at these models and it's not a coincidence, you know, what you're mm -hmm. doing all these, this, this great marketing, it's getting people to come and see the models yeah. to buy a home. I mean, a lot of people have been jaded, right? You know, they've been burned in the past or they've tried things and they hadn't worked. So really getting, them to see the benefits of an expert marketing team and great creative and great strategy and how all those things put together, it's really hard not to be successful. Right. Now you're, you're, um, I think third or fourth generation marketing. I mean, your comp your dad actually founded the company. Mm -hmm. Um, tell me a little bit about your takeover of the company when you had to step up to the plate. Cause I know how many years ago that was, but you're, you've really um, grown the company so that the client base now is, is the top master plan community developers in Texas. Well, uh, yes, my father started this agency 40 years ago, um, small town kid from Laredo, Texas. So marketing's always been in my blood. Mm -hmm. uh, I think one of the best career decisions I made was not going straight into the agency world right out of college. Um, kind of making a, my own, paving my own path, um, stepping into many different types of advertising, uh, director of sales for a digital marketing company, uh, selling radio for iHeartMedia, you know, CBS Sports. At one point, I franchised a magazine company. So understanding all the different medias, uh, you know, really cutting my teeth, learning kind of some hard lessons, really put me in a place that I think has made me uh, successful at the agency that my father started. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, uh, my path to the agency was not what anybody would want. My father uh, was diagnosed with Parkinson's. Uh, that was about nine years ago. So about seven years ago, I came over to the agency you know, learned it inside out. So you had to step up to the plate. Your, your father uh, was, was not well and you decided that, hey, I wanna help my family and, mm -hmm. and get involved. And it was a big challenge for you to take over a company like that. Yeah, I mean, it, it really was. You know, there's, there's always the, you're your father's son, so earning the respect, uh, trying to make changes where you think that you could uh, potentially help, you know, getting pushed back at the beginning just you know, not having earned my stripes at the agency. Uh, but to me, it was all a great learning experience. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the team that we've built and the team we have now, uh, I can truly say is, you know, the strongest team I've ever been a part of. 
I think that's what really drives the agency. I mean, it's not me, it's not my success, it's all of our successes. You have a great team. Oh yeah, and it's really on the backs of them. So if you're looking back uh, 10 years at uh, your younger self or 20 years and you wanted to give yourself a piece of advice, uh, given your success and your track record and you've accomplished so much, what, what would you tell yourself? I think I'd just tell myself to trust my gut. Mm-hmm. You know, that there's gonna be a lot of people and a lot of uh, roadblocks throughout anything you want to be or do in life. And it's so easy to give up. Uh, so I think I would just tell myself to whatever you want to do right now, stay on the path, stay the course. It's going to be okay. Yeah. There's going to be challenges. There's going to be roadblocks. But if you put your head down, there's really nothing that you can't accomplish. And what, since you're the marketing expert of master plan communities, what in your what is new today about or, or new and up and coming about marketing master plan communities is artificial intelligence going to be part of it or what is the latest and greatest that that is happening now that people might not know you know i i think right now it's it's a race to have the the best amenities mm-hmm. uh i think potentially COVID had uh some influence on this but being able to provide a lifestyle that your home is not just your home, that there's so much more that they can bring to the table. Uh, You know, vacation style amenities, uh, expansive trails, uh, close to here, close to there. So I think it's really a competition between communities on what they can offer uh, within the community, uh, aside from, you know, a a better school or a better home than what they had been living. So the race is all about what you're offering in terms of an amenity, playgrounds, lagoons, Mm -hmm. whatever, splash pads, all of it. All of it. That's going to make the biggest difference in a marketing game. Right now, that's what, that's, that's the, one of the bigger deciding factors between a potential home buyer. Okay. Is is what is the lifestyle that this new community is going to bring to me and my family? Okay, great. So, David, uh, thanks for being on the show. I know that you're a, a father and you're expecting. I'm soon, expecting. Not yeah. yourself, but your wife is expecting yeah. soon. Yeah. Uh, yep. A uh, little girl on the way due April 12th. Okay. Well, well, we're excited for you. Thanks for coming on the Uri Man Show. Hey, man, I appreciate you having me. Big news. Lagoon Fest Texas is coming to Houston again this summer. Lagoon Fest Texas is the largest summer beach event in the Houston area and will bring hundreds of thousands of happy families to Lago Mar. Experience the white sand beaches and crystal clear water that surround the 12-acre Crystal Lagoon. Last year's Lagoon Fest Texas was a huge success that drew over 150,000 visitors from all over the U.S. And this year's summer event will be even bigger and better with bigger beaches, more bars, more concerts, and more fun. All eyes will be on Lagoon Fest Texas this summer, and sponsorships are available now. You have a special opportunity to put your company's name and logo in front of hundreds of thousands of happy beachgoers. Naming right strategic logo placement in and around the venue, along with exclusive marketing access to a captive audience, will be included in your sponsorship. This is a great opportunity to be a part of Houston's largest summer event. Please visit LagoonFestTexas.com to learn more about this incredible event.